You buy an SPF 50 plus sun cream because you want high protection from the sun. This one is designed for kids, but it didn't even come close to SPF 50 in our lab tests. SPF indicates how well a sunscreen protects against sunburn from UVB rays. In our tests, we shine a UVB lamp on volunteers' backs and record when their skin reddens with and without sunscreen, using the difference to calculate the SPF. Of the four kids' sunscreens we tested, this so-called SPF 50 Plus Nivea Kids Spray came in at well below the SPF claim on the bottle. Of course, it's not just about UVB. Sun cream should also protect against UVA rays too. To test this, we put sunscreen on a glass plate and measure the UVA absorbed. And of the 11 adult sun creams we tested, another popular one failed. Garnier Ambre Solaire Clear Protect Spray in SPF 30. While its results were close to the minimum protection required, it didn't meet the grade. It's really important that any sun cream lives up to the claims on its label and the fact that we tested sun creams in our tests which didn't meet those claims is a real concern. UVA and UVB both cause skin damage and they've both been associated with skin damage and skin cancer. And it's very concerning that a kids product failed our test because kids skin is more sensitive. When we contacted Nivea and Garnier Ambre Solaire to comment on our results, both disagreed with Witch's findings. They both reiterated the importance of sun safety and told us that they're dedicated to developing reliable and effective products. While the products we tested failed in our lab, both sunscreen manufacturers told us that their products were tested independently and exceeded the requirements of international standards. Sun creams that fail our UVA or UVB tests are automatically don't buy. Read our full article for more on the sun creams to avoid. Check out the video below to find out the popular face mask that failed our tests. And for more videos like this, subscribe to the Witch YouTube channel.